What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to clean your pellet stove inside and out, including your pellet stove chimney vent. Alright guys, to clean your pellet stove effectively, you're going to need a few tools. This includes a pellet stove vac or ash vac, scraper tool, Harman scraper tool, putty knife, nylon bristled brush, a drill, for the Gardas soot eater, some glass cleaner, a homemade tool to clean the small holes in the pellet stove, and something to release the bottom of your pellet vent. I'll leave a link in the description below for the tools. All right guys, the first thing you're gonna do is release the bottom of your pellet vent. Mine has a quarter inch screw that I need to release, and then pull the bottom cover off. You're then going to take the guard of soot eater connected to the drill and slowly feed it up into the pipe. Make sure the drill is going clockwise, otherwise it could unscrew the connection on the soot eater. So just slowly feed it up all the way up to the top and back down. And do this a couple times to make sure it's adequately clean. If you guys have a horizontal vent or chimney, you'll want to do the same exact thing but also have an ash vac handy to suck out all the soot. All right, once you feel it's adequately clean, you're gonna then put the cap back on the bottom and reinsert the screw and you're done outside. On the inside on the side of your stove, a little Harman trick is to put your igniter into manual mode and turn it on to either the room temp or stove temp. You'll notice that the combustion blower comes on and this helps to evacuate any ash while you're cleaning the stove. Just make sure your stove is cool to the touch before you start any of this. You're then going to take the putty knife and start scraping down all the ash off the sides and off the bottom. Um, scrape it all into the ash bin. You do a pretty good job, make sure it's nice and thorough. Get as much of it off as you can. And all the ash you scrape down to the bottom, you want to scrape off the sides, off the ledge, into the ash bin. It's kind of redundant, but you kind of want to just get it all into that bin. You're then going to take the Harman scraper tool and scrape down the burn pot. This involves moving all the ash out and scraping down any carbon buildups that are built up on the burn pot. a pry bar scraper tool and kind of scrape it off a little more. This one's a little sharper and helps get off those carbon deposits. Then back with the Harman scraper tool you want to scrape off the heat exchanger up above. Get all the ash off. And go back and forth all the way down one side and back to the other. Then do the same thing with the nylon brush. It just helps get all the small nooks and crannies all cleaned up. Be sure to brush the burn pot also. I then made this tool out of a little bit of wire that's a little bit smaller than a coat hanger. It's used to clean the small holes that the combustion blower goes through. I believe there are five or six rows of these holes, so just make sure you clean out every single one. When you're done with that, there are two wing nuts underneath the burn pot. You need to loosen those to remove the plate that covers the igniter. And here's what that looks like. 
Underneath the plate, there's a small amount of ash that gets stuck down in there. So you want to make sure you vacuum out this area. I sped up this next part, but as you can see, I take the ash back and I kind of clean out the whole entire stove. Any loose area, any loose ash, I kind of clean it all up as much as possible. I also vacuum off the door. There's a lot of little spots for the ash to get stuck there as well. below this though you're going to want to remove the ash bin. You do this by first opening up the ash door and then removing the bin slowly. Do this because ash will go everywhere if you don't. And make sure you discard this ash in a fire safe container. You'll then want to take the ash back and clean out this area as well. Do a very thorough job. You then want to make sure you replace your ash bin. And then you want to make sure you replace the plate that covers the igniter and tighten up the two wing nuts. Then the last thing you want to do is clean the glass using a good glass cleaner. This is the Rutland glass cleaner. I'll leave a link in the description below for this stuff. It's, it works really well. Not only does this stuff clean the glass pretty well, it also does a pretty good job of slowing down the ash build up in the future. Alright, the last thing you need to do is shut the door and fire the stove up. Alright guys, make sure you check out the links down below and do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and also leave a comment and hit that like button as well. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next one. Hey, and let me know if you guys want to see a video on how to clean out the fines box and how to clean the temperature probe on the outlet of the stove.